So we have a massive tournament, probably the biggest tournament since the US Open coming up next week. The Shanghai Masters and the draw is finally out. But we do have some big names that are not playing in one of the biggest tournaments on the Asian swing. Let's have a look. So here are the players that are not in the draw. Batista Agu, he's pulled out. Berrettini, Bublik, Choric, Novak Djokovic, of course, not playing at all in the Asian swing. Kopfa, Nishikori, Rayonic, Rusevori, and Shapovalov all not playing. And remember, this is the second to last massive tournament for most players this year, except for the ones playing the ATP Finals. So those who are in the finals race and not yet qualified, not playing this tournament, really going to struggle to kind of qualify. So it's a big deal that they're not playing. All right, let's go to the top of the draw. And we've got... 32 seeds in this one, of course, it is a massive two-week event. The same as Indian Wells, Miami, Canada, and Cincinnati, and all 32 seeds get a buy in the first round, so it's one of those tournaments again. Alcaraz, number one seed, he gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Borges or Barre in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Muller. Winner of that will take on the number 30 seed, Dan Evans, in the second round. Then you've got the 18 seed, Dimitrov, also gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Vukic or Bayana in the second round. Then you've got two qualifiers going at it. Winner of that match will go up against... Hashin of the 13th seed in the second round. So an interesting little section there. Alcaraz, not too much to worry about. He played Evans, I think, a few weeks ago. Did all right. Dimitrov's been in a little bit of form, and Hashinov can be dangerous, but I think Alcaraz is going to like his part of the draw so far. Next section of the draw, you've got Tiafo, the number 10 seed. He takes on a qualifier or Sonego in the second round. Then you've got Thompson taking on another qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number 22 seed, Jarry, who's been in some really good form for the entire season on all surfaces. Then you've got Lehechka, the 27th seed. He'll play either Schwartzman or Van Aish in the second round. Then you've got Watanuki taking on Zong. Winner of that will take on the number seven seed Fritz in the second round. So another interesting section here. Tiafo Fritz, obviously the big names. Jerry Lehechka have been good at times. Jerry better than Lehechka at times, but interesting section here. Next section of the draw, you got the number four seed City Pass. Getting a buy in the first round. He'll take on either a qualifier or Jera in the second round. Then you got Van der Zandtrup taking on O'Connell. Winner of that will take on the number 32 seed Umber in the second round. Then you've got the 21st seed, Struff, taking on either Poprin or Onaldi in the second round. Then you've got Wolf versus Cashin. Winner of that will take on the number 15 seed, Nori, in the second round. Another interesting section, you know, Umber's been in good form. He just took out Rublev this week. Struff's been good this year. Nori, not great this year. And of course, Sinti Pass, he's been injured on and off. And his form has been really inconsistent. So this section might be the most open. Next section, the draw, you got number 12 seed, Paul. He'll take on either Vareas or Ofner in the second round. Then you got Kotov versus Feast. Winner of that will take on the number 24 seed, Fakina, in the second round. Then you got Manorino, the 31st seed. He'll take on either Shevchenko or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Karatsev versus Hellas. Winner of that will take on the number 5 seed, Rublev, in the second round. So another interesting section, you know, Rublev, Fakina, Paul, all being good at times this year. Manorino can also surprise. You've got guys like Karatsev. We know what he can do at his best. Feast is exciting. Ovna has been in some form this week. Of course, this quarter of the draw will take on the Elkris quarter. So it could be Elkris versus City Pass in the semifinals. It could be Elkris versus Rublev. If we're going by the big names, it could be Elkris versus Paul. I mean, we've seen that a couple of times this year, and that's one of the most fun matchups as well. So could be a really interesting section. I think Elkaraz in the top half of the draw is the only sure thing and the only reliable one at the moment. Bottom half of the draw, you've got Rude, the number eight seed, taking on either Altmaier or Nishioka in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Hampton. Winner of that will take on the number 29 seed, Eubanks, in the second round. Then you've got Grigsbor, the 23rd seed. He'll take on either Lajevic or Vavrinka in the second round. That's probably one of the best first round matches going around. Vavrinka versus Lajevic. Then you've got Rindanish versus Marijan. Winner of that will take on the number 11 seed, Dimonor, in the second round. Another good section here. I mean, Dimonor has been in form on the hard courts. Grigsbor and Eubanks can surprise. And Kasper Rude, he's doing okay this week in Beijing. So could be interesting. And of course, Vavrinka, Lajevic shouldn't be overlooked either. Next section of the draw, you've got the number 16 seed, Hercatch. He'll take on either... Kokonakis or Fanini in the second round. Then you've got Purcell taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number 17 seed, Musetti, in the second round. Then you've got the 28 seed, Echeverry. He'll take on either Zhang or Gasquet in the second round. Then you've got Nakashima taking on Marias. Winner of that will take on the number 3 seed, Runa, in the second round. And again, it feels like this section is super open as well. I mean, Runa's been injured lately, so it's hard to pick him for anything. Her catch has kind of been up and down. Musetti, Echeverry's been good. I mean, it's it's an interesting section. And the bottom sections of the draw, you have the number six seed, Sinner. He'll take on either Giron or Gallen in the second round, after getting a bye in the first round, of course. Then you've got a qualifier taken on Daniel. Winner of that will take on the number 25 seed, Baez, in the second round. Then you've got the number 19 seed, Shelton. He'll take on either Munar or T in the second round. Then you've got Safiulin taking on Murray. Winner of that will take on the number nine seed, Zverev, in the second round. 
This section might be the hardest section of the entire draw because not only are the seeds crazy, but also some unseeded crazy players too. I mean, so Fulon's been in some form. Murray, of course, is always dangerous. Then you've got Zverev. Shelton could be a third round. I mean, that's awesome to see. Sinner as well in that section. Baez is someone dangerous. Daniel has even been dangerous this year on hardcourt. So I feel like this is the most intense section of the draw, especially if we get a Zverev versus Murray second round. Winner plays Shelton in the third. I mean, that's insane. So this could be the most dangerous section. And the very bottom section now, we've got Ojeli Asim, the 14th seed. Gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either a qualifier or Fuchovic in the second round. Then you've got Mute taking on McDonald. Winner of that will take on the number 20 seed, Sarundalo, in the second round. Then you've got Korda, the 26th seed. He'll take on either Kecmenovic or Boo in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Garen. Winner of that will take on the number two seed, Daniil Medvedev, in the second round. So, again, interesting section of the draw. We could be getting a rematch of the Australian Open match between Korda and Medvedev. I'm sure Medvedev wants to get that one back. Of course, FAA in this section as well. He hasn't been great this year, so hard to see him getting too far. sarundalo has been good, though. So maybe Sarundalo, Medvedev. And of course, this quarter will take on the Rude quarter and the Runa quarter. So we could be getting Medvedev, Runa. We could be getting Medvedev, Rude. Rude's sort of getting in some form now. You could get Medvedev, Diminor, which we've seen a bunch of times this year. Or if you want to go something a little different, you could get Sinner versus Rude or Sinner versus Runa. Zverev versus Rude. Zverev versus Runa. Or another combination of all of those. But very interesting draw. And it feels like the bottom part of the draw is the most stacked. Elgris has got a pretty nice draw in comparison. So there you have it. That is the Shanghai Masters for this year. And it's looking pretty awesome considering Djokovic is not playing. It doesn't look too bad without him in there. And of course, the top half of the draw, Elgras looks like he's got a nice road. You know, he's never played in Shanghai before, though. So that's going to be something to get used to. But the bottom part of the draw, I mean, that Sinner section is absolutely stacked. And then Medvedev's got to play one of those guys. I mean, that's going to be really interesting to see the bottom half of that draw. But let me know down in the comments below. What do you think about the draw? Do you like the draw? Is your favorite player, have they got a good draw, bad draw? Comment down below what you reckon. Uh, but I don't know. These, these two-week masters are a little bit awkward because, of course, the first round bye means that we don't have any matches really until Saturday, Sunday, when the big seeds actually start to play. So first couple of days are going to be a little quiet, but let me know down in the comments below. Are you happy with the draw? Are you excited about Shanghai? We're back for the first time in four years.